the things in your life that make life worth living. We are here with Courtney Billington, Vice President, Janssen Supply Chain, Johnson & Johnson Family of Companies, and the executive sponsor of the Veterans Leadership Council. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Now, you were an officer in the U.S. Army. You went to West Point. Tell us about your military experience. It's a great experience for me because uh, that's really where I learned my background and leadership. Uh, and also, I was a quartermaster officer, which is in the supply field uh, in the Army. And uh, actually, my first experience within Johnson & Johnson was actually in supply chain. And actually, that's what I do today. So the uh, military experience that I had gave me really great skills with regards to how to motivate people, set goals, achieve them, uh, and that's something that has really translated very well into civilian life. What kind of military skills do you think you utilize most in your corporate job? I uh, served in Operation Desert Storm. Uh, obviously working in an environment like that, you have to deal with uh, stressful situations, working under pressure to achieve goals. And in corporate life, we maybe don't have, uh, let's say, the same type of circumstances with regards to being in a wartime setting, but certainly challenging uh, opportunities which you have to work in stressful environments. And uh, so I think those experiences in the military have uh, done me well. And uh, lastly, I would say that, um, you know, being part of healthcare, uh, Johnson & Johnson, knowing that uh, J&J is one of the most broadly based healthcare companies in the world, and where you can help people in the same way in the military, we're about helping people. That was something that meshed very well for me. So, you know, I felt that that was very good uh, from a continuity perspective. And now you work really to help recruit other uh, military members. What do you do to help uh, the military? We, um, so we have an organization we call our Veterans Leadership Council. In addition to our human resource policies, we have an employee resource group that reaches out where we look to hire, mentor, uh, provide uh, development opportunities for former veterans. But then also, too, from the standpoint of acquisition of new employees into J&J, um, we, you know, are out in recruiting, uh, um, you know, events that go on around the globe uh, to help share our story and share what type of opportunities we do have uh, where we can bring in more veterans uh, to J&J. &J. And you have jobs right now. What kinds of job opportunities do you have? I would say the, you know, there are jobs in many, many areas. And my first uh, suggestion would be to go to J, uh, we have a internet site. Uh, www.jnj.com and you go to the careers tab and so there are tons of jobs there uh, but there are sales positions where we have uh, a number of former military folks who go into sales uh, we have as I mentioned distribution or operations type of jobs where people are leading uh, working in warehouses, uh, working in manufacturing environments, uh, bringing out new technologies, new products that we have, and veterans uh, do very well in those environments. A lot of veterans who watch our show we spoke with say they're having a tough time finding a job. How can you advise them? I would say uh, one first is cast a broad net. Uh, the second thing that I would say is um, don't just think about that first entry level job transition in. You know, when I came in, I came in as a second shift supervisor. I had managed large organizations, hundreds of people. Uh, but I moved very quickly. I moved within seven months to my first job. And then I moved another 13 months. Uh, and what I've seen is military uh, personnel seem to do well in our environment. And so don't just think about that very first job as you're going to kind of get stuck there. Utilize that as a transitional opportunity. Learn what it's like uh, in a corporate or civilian setting, and then you'll excel uh, in the same way maybe that you excelled within a uh, uh, military environment. What is it about the culture at Johnson & Johnson that might be a good fit for someone in the military? We, we have something that we call our credo, and it uh, basically describes our responsibilities. It's our value uh, system that we have, and it talks about our responsibilities to customers, to our employees, to the communities we live and work in, and then lastly, to our shareholders. Um, and what I would say is our culture is really built around caring for people, 
the products that we make, uh, how it helps people uh, improve their quality of life. Um, you know, in many cases, we look to uh, make sure that our associates embrace that same thirst, if you will, or the same value system. And that's something that was very easily translatable from military. I mean, I, I loved the military because I felt like I was giving back uh, to the community. And in the same way, J&J, &J, uh, we expect our employees to have that same type of uh, perspective is that uh, we're going to give back to the community. So we build our systems around those values. Uh, we build our rewards and recognition, re recognition systems around those values. Uh, and we try to reinforce that uh, for our employees. Sounds like a good fit for a veteran. Thank you for joining us to tell us about opportunities at Johnson & Johnson. Thank you, Gigi. I appreciate you inviting us to share our story.